Wisconsin CDL practice test. Question 1. You should place the starter switch key into your pocket while you are performing the pre-trip inspection because Someone could steal the truck. It could damage the starting mechanism. Someone could start and move the truck. All of the above. Answer. Someone could start and move the truck. Question 2. The minimum tire tread depth for front tires is? 4 30 seconds inch. 1 half inch depth. 3 eighths inch. 1 30 second inch depth. Answer. 4 30 seconds inch. Question 3. What is the first step of proper braking technique when going down a steep downgrade? Release the clutch. Release the brakes. Accelerate. Put the engine in the proper low gear. Answer. Put the engine in the proper low gear. Question 4. If brakes get wet, it can cause them to Rust immediately Fall off the vehicle Apply unevenly All of the above Answer Apply unevenly Question 5. What is the most important and obvious reason to always conduct a pre-trip inspection of your CMV? Employer liability. See if your vehicle needs a wash. Make sure your paint is not chipped. Safety. Answer. Safety. Question 6. Is it true that as long as the engine is not overheated, it is completely safe to remove the radiator cap? Yes, as long as the radiator isn't damaged. No. Yes. Yes, as long as there is no overflow. Answer. No. Question 7. Which of the following is true about over width, over length, or overweight loads? Such a load must be escorted by the police. Such a load requires a special transit permit. Such a load can only be driven in the daytime. All of the above. Answer. Such a load requires a special transit permit. Question 8. While driving, the two main things the driver should look ahead for are Gas stations and rest stops Overpasses and upcoming tunnels Other vehicles and traffic signs Detours and emergency personnel Answer. Other vehicles and traffic signs. Question 9. What must you do as a result of Wisconsin's move over law, if you see any emergency vehicle stop in a lane, using flashing lights? Slow down significantly, then cautiously proceed. Move over to another lane, if possible. Yield the right of way. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 10. What happens when you let the air out of hot tires? It will cool them down, 
you will be able to continue your journey sooner. This is a good idea so the extra pressure is relieved. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. It has no effect at all. Answer This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Question 11. Which of the following is the best way to see the rear and sides of your CMV? Use rear view cameras. Roll down your driver's side window. Roll down your passenger side window. Use your mirrors. Answer. Use your mirrors. Question 12. Why should you cover cargo? To protect individuals from any spilled cargo. Because many states require it. To protect your cargo from bad weather. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 13. Why should you limit the use of your horn? On vehicles possessing air brakes, it uses up air pressure you may need to be able to stop. The horn can startle other drivers, which is dangerous. The horn on a vehicle wears out very quickly. All of the above. Answer. The horn can startle other drivers, which is dangerous. Question 14. What is the minimum number of tie downs a flatbread load can have? 2. 3. No minimum. 1. Answer. 2. Question 15. An anti-lock braking system will Let you drive faster. Shorten your stopping distance. Increase a vehicle's ultimate stopping power. Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Answer. Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Question 16. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you Only read maps or your phone when there are no cars around you. Smoke, eat, and drink during straight portions of the road. Pre-program your favorite radio stations. Have all your emotionally hard conversations in the first hour of driving. Answer. Pre-program your favorite radio stations. Question 17. While driving at night, which beams should you use as often as you can? Low beams. High beams. Emergency flashers. Novelty lights. Answer. High beams. Question 18. Which of these two special conditions indicates that you should downshift? Prior to going down a hill and prior to entering a curve. Prior to starting up a hill and prior to entering a tunnel. Prior to starting up a hill and prior to entering a curve. Prior to starting down a hill and prior to going up a hill. Answer. Prior to going down a hill and prior to entering a curve. Question 19. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Hold the steering wheel firmly. 
engage the brakes hard and immediately. Be aware that a tire has failed. Stay off the brake pedal. Answer. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Question 20. Which of these are you not responsible for it when it comes to your cargo? Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Making sure that cargo is properly secured. Recognizing possible overloads. Inspecting the cargo. Answer. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Question 21. You should inspect wheel bearing seals for Twisted axles Leaking Tears Broken leaf springs Answer Leaking Question 22. During which of the following situations should you have your emergency four-way flashing lights on? Driving during a severe storm. Crossing railroad tracks. Parked by side of road. None of the above. Answer. Parked by side of road. Question 23. When a driver's blood alcohol concentration, back, rises, which of the following happens? The drinker's brain is increasingly affected by the alcohol. Coordination and muscle control are affected by the alcohol. Self-control and judgment are the first processes affected. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 24. Which of the following are important parts of a vehicle steering system? Leaf spring, torque rod, vehicle frame, tie rod, pitman arm, spindle, lug nuts, rims, tire, spring shackle. Main spring, axle. Answer. Tie rod, pitman arm, spindle. Question 25. Where should you place your warning devices, if you must stop on a one-way or a divided highway? 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. 100 feet, 200 feet, and 300 feet toward approaching traffic. 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet toward approaching traffic. Answer 10 feet, 100 feet and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Question 26. How many seconds does it take for a normal tractor trailer to clear a double track? 10 seconds. More than 30 seconds. More than 15 seconds. 14 seconds. Answer. More than 15 seconds. Question 27. Which of the following should you not do when you are being tailgated? Speed up. Avoid tricks, such as flashing your brake lights. Avoid quick changes. Increase your following distance. Answer. Speed up. Question 28. What constitutes the proper braking technique in a vehicle that has anti-lock brakes? 
You should press much more forcefully on the brakes at all times than you do in a vehicle without anti-lock brakes. The same way you've always braked, but you do not press the brakes fully in an emergency stop. The same way you've always braked, but now you can apply brakes fully in an emergency stop. You should always brake much more lightly than in a vehicle without anti-lock brakes. Answer The same way you've always braked, but now you can apply brakes fully in an emergency stop. Question 29 Which of the following should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. Avoid eye contact. If you can safely do it, call the police from a cell phone. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 30. Which of the following is not true about an escape ramp? May be made of loose, soft material. Is of no use if you are traveling too quickly. Can be located using signs along your route. May also be combined with an upgrade. Answer Is of no use if you are traveling too quickly. Question 31 which of the following is most likely to get stuck on raised railroad crossings? A low slung car carrier. An empty moving van. A single axle tractor pulling a regular trailer. A single axle tractor making a return journey empty. Answer A low slung car carrier. Question 32. What constitutes a hazardous materials placard? Signs that help tax collectors determine how much to tax a hazardous cargo. Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Signs on the inside of the vehicle that remind the driver what he is carrying. Signs that warn the public to stay at least 1,000 feet away from the vehicle. Answer Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Question 33. What is the main difference between aggressive driving and road rage? Level of anger Intent to do harm or physical assault. Outcome of situation. All of the above. Answer. Intent to do harm or physical assault. Question 34. Total stopping distance is a combination of. Reaction distance plus braking distance. Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. Reaction distance plus viewing distance plus braking distance. Braking distance plus stopping distance. Answer Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. Question 35. Which of the following is not a benefit of making plans when you spot a hazard? To avoid having to do actions, like sudden braking, that are much more likely to cause an accident. Improving the safety of other drivers on the road as well as your own by being prepared. Giving you more time to hang up your phone call or finish something you might have been eating or drinking. Giving you more time to do something before the situation turns into an emergency. Answer 
giving you more time to hang up your phone call or finish something you might have been eating or drinking. Question 36. Which of the following are the correct methods for knowing when you should shift up? Road speed and shift indicator light. Road speed and engine speed. Wind speed and shift indicator light. Every 3 to 5 seconds and road speed. Answer. Road speed and engine speed. Question 37. How many hours of sleep does the average person need per night, or risk accumulating sleep debt? 7 to 8 hours. 8 to 9 hours. 6 to 7 hours. 6 to 8 hours. Answer. 7 to 8 hours. Question 38. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Get one fourth closer to the car in front of you, then back off again. Multiply how long this took you by four for following distance. Text a friend and tell them to text you back in 10 seconds and see how long that seemed to take compared to far you traveled. Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Use the stopwatch on your phone to try to determine how long before you reach a mile marker after the car in front of you appeared to reach it. Answer Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Question 39. What does the Wisconsin Implied Consent Law refer to? Drivers must consent to alcohol testing when they are asked by a police officer. Drivers younger than 21 are not allowed to drink and drive. Drivers must consent to a search of their vehicle when asked by a police officer. Drivers receive mandatory jail time after a second DOA. Answer. Drivers must consent to alcohol testing when they are asked by a police officer. Question 40. According to Wisconsin law, for how long will a driver convicted of a first offense of OA in a non-CMV lose his, her CDL driving privileges? Four years minimum. CDL privileges are not affected by a first OA offense. One year minimum. Life. Answer. One year minimum. Question 41. What action should you take when your vehicle begins to hide your plane? Let go of the wheel so it can right itself again. Accelerate very slightly. Brake gently, to start slowing your vehicle. Release the accelerator. Answer. Release the accelerator. Question 42. How many seconds of following distance should you leave if you have a 30-foot vehicle and you are traveling at 55 miles per hour? 3 seconds 6 seconds 4 seconds 5 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 43. If you have an automatic transmission, when should you downshift? When you start to get drowsy. When you feel you are driving too fast. When you have trouble going fast enough. When you're going down steep grades. 
Answer. When you're going down steep grades. Question 44. In which of the following circumstances should you make use of your vehicle's horn? When you are planning to change lanes. When using the horn may help you avoid an accident, by calling attention. When a car is in your vehicle's way. When you observe an accident on the road ahead of your current position. Answer. When using the horn may help you avoid an accident, by calling attention. Question 45. According to Wisconsin law, for how long will a driver convicted of a second offense of OA in a non-CMV lose his, her CDL driving privileges? One year. Three years. Four years. Life. Answer. Life. Question 46. While driving, where should you be looking ahead of your vehicle? Straight forward at all times. Toward the left side of the roadway. Toward the right side of the roadway. Both far and near, and back and forth. Answer. Both far and near, and back and forth. Question 47. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? You might damage your leaf springs. Someone might try to pass you, on your left. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. All of the above. Answer. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. Question 48. What is it important to check, before you transport the sealed load? That the seal numbers and the placard numbers match. That the load is properly balanced and secured in the vehicle. That the seal on the load is authentic. That the seal on the load is secure. Answer. That the load is properly balanced and secured in the vehicle. Question 49. Which of the following will help a drunk person to sober up? Cup of coffee. Cold, fresh air. Time. All of the above. Answer. Time. Question 50. Which of the following can assist you with staying alert while you are driving? Keep cab warm and quiet. Take short breaks before you feel drowsy. Drink coffee. Schedule trips for hours you're normally asleep. Answer. Take short breaks before you feel drowsy. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.